Hey friends, it is Isaac Hayes bringing you a brand new video and today I'm bringing back the old series that everybody wants to see. It is the best competitive search and destroy Godspot series and today we're starting out on Arden Forest which is a pretty decent search and destroy map, very team based. So if you guys do enjoy the video and want me to continue the series, let me know down in the comments which map you want to see next. Subscribe if you are new and go check out my other videos but anyway, let's waste no time and get right into the video. Alright, so first I'm going to show you some middle map strats on offense. You can jump on top of these barrels and come up right here, look through this little line of sight right here, and you can see them on the left head glitch if they go there on their defensive side. You can also see if they cross to the cabin cut, and your teammate can come up here and team shot that guy right there if you don't have a sniper. If you have a sniper, you can get that first blood pretty easily. Also, you can come up to the tank and look in between the tire and the frame, and you can see the fire cut, and as soon as you see them come through there, just pop up and shoot them, and that's a free kill almost every time now moving on to the middle cut right here one nice spot and this isn't really right off the break that this spot would be good but if you ever need to watch the cross from your offensive side towards the stairs right there this is pretty good in hard point you can head glitch this and easily kill anybody crossing to the stairs right there another good little spot middle cut is you can lay down right here on this little side of the wall and if you have a PPSH it's extremely good or any sub in general they're gonna walk right past you as you see if you come straight through middle map and come middle cut you're not going to be looking down there right off the bat you're going to kind of center like in the middle of your screen so it's a really good spot also this little crevice in the middle of the map is pretty deep like I've been killed from a lot of people down here just because I thought they were a dead body or I couldn't see them and they would just pop up and kill me and it's really annoying to die from there but in certain situations it can be useful so, so far I haven't really showed you guys anything crazy, but this is my favorite 1v1 spot 100% on this map. You can lay down middle map and see two crosses. You can see the cross over to your left if they come out of the fire cut right there, and you can lay down and tell your teammate to watch that if you have a teammate spectating you. And then you can lay down and your tree right to the right over here actually gives you a little bit of cover too, and you can just pop up and kill anybody crossing to A or you can just pop up and kill them if they come to your right and you can also pop up and kill them on that head glitch and I'll demonstrate what it would look like if somebody came out of fire cut you would come over and center and pre-aim that head glitch right there but the head glitch to the right is not really something that you even consider when you're peeking middle map from fire cut so it's going to be a solid spot now for the A offensive side, if you need to watch flank and you have an SMG, you can come into this corner, bounce up and down, and as soon as you see somebody right here, just throw a stun grenade at them, and I have a frag, so I'm just going to throw my frag like you would a stun, and just challenge them with your SMG, and it's going to be a free kill, or you could use a bar like I usually do. Another good spot to watch flank is you could come over here to this little railing right here, I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be, but you can lay down and watch flank, and it's a really good spot, and I'm going to demonstrate just so you guys know that you actually can watch the flank. Like even if you hug this wall right here, you're still going to be seen from that spot and nobody's really going to check that. So if they run around to the side of the bunker right here, you can kill them. And also you can have a teammate sitting right here and watching the fire cut right there. And as soon as they push into bunker, you can call out for your teammate and your teammate can pick up that kill if you can. So once you push up towards the A-bomb, there's a few plant spots that you can put down. You can stretch the bomb towards this right corner right here and you can easily see the bomb from middle and you can wrap the map and just keep checking it from middle. And it's a pretty good strategy especially if you're in a 1v1 situation and you're forced to plant a you can just keep wrapping the map and checking the bomb from middle also another place you can see the bomb if you plant there is in this corner by the tree that's on fire you can easily check the bomb just through this door and it's a pretty solid spot if you're in this situation Another good plant spot is stretching the bomb all the way to the right like this or to the left depending on how you look at it and just stretch it at that corner and you can see it from a couple different places. You can come back to this head glitch and just jump up on the head glitch and you can easily see the bomb right there if they're defusing it. You could also run all the way across the map over towards where you would watch flank in that one spot by the bunker over here. And you can see it pretty much anywhere over here and it's also weird because the bomb kind of in goes invisible which i'll show you in a second but you can see the bomb right here and trust me it's there if you come up right here you can actually see that the bomb like comes back every time you aim but if you're not aiming it's like invisible it's kind of weird but you'll see them on the bomb 100 percent if they go in this spot and it's a pretty solid spot so if you want to go be on the offensive side you really just have to use these head glitches to your advantage and when your gunfights but you can use this left head glitch to kill the guy on the stairs and and then you can come to the right and just kill anybody coming middle cut or on the bomb and that's a really good setup you have to win your gunfight 
fights like I said and then you can clear out the middle cut area and then hop up here and this is the bed best bed this is the best head glitch at b 100 percent especially for hard point two it's extremely good but just clear out the area it's pretty straightforward over at b just use your head glitches kill people and then get the bomb down also another thing that you can do is come over here and you can see the fire cut on these stairs and that's a pretty good spot too while your teammate is planning if it's your job to watch the flank while your teammates are playing, you can sit on this head glitch right here and preempt the left side if they come to the left. And then if they come to the right and cross right there, you'll see them and you can challenge them and get the easy pre-fire kill. And it's a really solid spot to watch the flank because if you see, you're not going to see anybody in that right corner if you're flanking right there. So it's a really solid spot. Just make sure you kill them before they kill your teammates if your teammates head glitching the stairs or something. All right, now for some B-bomb plant spots. So B-bomb is pretty straightforward on this map. You can stretch the bomb all the way to this right corner and this is probably one of my favorite spots and there's really only two spots you can play if you really want to stretch it and stuff like that but you can come over here by this tank right here and easily see the bomb and then have a teammate watch your back this is a really good dub setup too just have somebody go all the way back there in, in their spawn with a bar or any type of ar and just watch your flank and then you can just keep wiggle peeking the bomb from the tank and it's a pretty solid setup you can also see the bomb from opposite sides so if you're in a 1v1 you can literally wrap the map and see it from whichever side you want one and you can just hop up on this head glitch and easily see the bomb and kill somebody off and just play time now moving on to the defensive side there's really only one head glitch that you have on the defensive side middle which is that yellow head glitch right there so what i would recommend doing is sniping the mid to middle cut cross on defense which is a guaranteed first blood pretty much every time unless you're just a really bad sniper which in that case don't do it just use the bar and go a different lane the only really good spot is what i showed you right here in this little corner which is good for like 1v1s and stuff like that uh other than that there's really not very many middle map spots that you have on the defensive side there's also this little spot right here and you can see that right head glitch right there and the cross to the hard point and it's decent you know that little thing is sticking up right there so it's kind of annoying but it's a decent spot 100 percent one thing that i 100 percent feel the need to talk about is this head glitch right here so when you're looking at the bunker most people just stand up and strafe but it's way better to just crouch and look at this head glitch because you're gonna have way more cover and there's a very small chance that the opponent and bunker is gonna kill you if they're just running in there and running to that head glitch unless they hop on the turret and literally just beam you but it's really solid and you can't crouch on the other side really it's just this side so it's a good thing to point out for defense but as far as b goes there's a few setups you can do you can head glitch this bomb and win this gunfight on the head glitch over there and you need to have a teammate watch your middle cut and you can also come up here if you wanted to but you're not going to get there before the offensive team so that's only if they are slow or something but you need to have a teammate watching your middle cut this is a solid spot you can just kind of preempt the left and the right right here next to the bomb and you can't die from the left and then have a teammate head glitch the bomb and just get those kills as they're crossing to the stairs and that's really your only chance you know you just need to win your gunfights and stuff like that on defensive side but anyway let's go back to a for a second there's one spot that i forgot to show you which is another decent spot you can see the far right head glitch you can just hop on there and get an easy kill if they're on the right head glitch but that's pretty much the only place that you can see there also you can look at the first hard point right there just through there and then the barrier head glitch right in front of you is a really solid head glitch you're not really going to get killed off of that but everything else on this map is pretty straightforward well guys that is gonna about wrap it up if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button it really does help smaller youtubers like me out so i can rank in the search engine and my video can reach more people subscribe if you are new and go check out my other videos i'm gonna do best competitive god spots for every single map and there's some really nice spots like on this map there wasn't very many nice spots there's a couple of really nice ones but other than that it's a pretty straightforward map but there's one spot on gibraltar which is absolutely insane i can't wait to show you so thank you guys for the support and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye